All right, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? My name is Andrew. Thanks for tuning in for another hotel tour. We're here at the very special Fairmont, Banff Springs, and Banff, Alberta, in Canada. If you're new here to our channel, consider subscribing. We do hotel tours all around the world. Fairmont Banff Springs is a really, really awesome hotel. They call it the castle in the mountains. There's so, so much history in this hotel. So, without further ado, let's head inside. All right, so just before we head inside, I just put my mask on. Still in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic, so they do require face masks. So if I sound a little bit muffled, I do apologize for that. All right, so heading inside now. It's a beautiful, beautiful lobby. This is so incredible. Just over here to the right, this would be where you can check in for a tour. Just over here at this desk. And then uh, just over here to the right side would be the welcome desk and uh, check-in to check in and grab your room. There's a staircase that goes upstairs to mezzanine level number one and then kind of the main area of the hotel this way. This would lead all the way down to, as it shows here, Willow Stream Spa. It leads to the Fairmont Gold reception on the fifth floor and then the elevators as well. So all down here and also it's going to lead to most of the shops in the hotel as well just down here and we'll go down there in just a few minutes. Then over to the left, this is where we're going to find Another staircase leading up to mezzanine level number one. We have the concierge desk over here, which is very, very helpful. And then just over here, we have stock food and drink. That's this grab and go restaurant here, just at the end of uh, the hallway here in the lobby. And then just on the outside here, you can see these big, big windows and really nice kind of seats here that you can have a seat in and rest. Really incredible entrance and very, very, amazing architecture. This is one of the nicest Fairmonts we have definitely seen. All right, so walking down the hall here, as you can see, there's uh, some washrooms here. There's some really cool artwork on the, on the walls as well. We have beautiful sconces to light the hallways. Awesome uh, Fairmont spa attire too. And a little teddy bear. Isn't he cute? <laughs> so here's another store here. It looks like this one's just not opening just yet. It's August and it opens back up in September. This one's called the Canadian Pacific Store. But if you want to go see their sister store, it's located in front of the elevators on the first level here. So continuing on down the hall here, we have Willow Stream Spa here at the Fairmont. And then in, there's another location here. This is where you get the pedicures and manicures, facials and things like that. And you can check in at the desk here to these lovely people who will help you out if you're going for some treatments. So we checked in at the spa and we're inside the waiting room right here. So over here they have some water to fill up a water bottle. They have cookies and stuff over here. They have a coffee machine. They ask you to ask for assistance if you'd like a coffee. Beautiful chairs, a nice fireplace. I bet you that'd be nice in the winter time. It feels really awesome in here. Good way to relax you before you start your treatment. And then if you head over to the window, oh, there's a pool out there too. An outdoor pool and then you can see the views of the mountains just nearby. So walking around the corner here to the left of the spa, a couple different things here. We have the fitness center and pools located out here. I can't get in there right now because we don't have a room card, but um, if you're a hotel guest or a member, you can head out and check out the pool. We're going to take a look out here. This is Bow Valley Terrace. Let's go out this door and take a look at what's out here. So there's typically I'd say there's some seating areas with some fire pits and stuff too you can enjoy. It doesn't look like they're open at the moment but you can still come out here and get some amazing views of the valley. There's the pool down here which I don't want to show just because there's some guests swimming right now. But an amazing terrace just to come out especially on a beautiful sunny day. So here's another beautiful courtyard if you don't feel like you're in Hogwarts yet. Here's another one for you. This is right outside the Vermilion Room and they've got a little terrace out here too that you can sit at. Right now it's kind of rainy a bit so nobody's out here but all kinds of beautiful views here of the exterior of the Fairmont Banff Springs. Awesome views of the mountains all around. And then there's a sort of a third terrace down here where we were before just outside of the Willow Stream Spa. And then up here there's another terrace and this patio belongs to Lookout Patio, the restaurant Lookout Patio. So all this right here. And then inside there's some additional seating. So 
we just came from this way down this hall. This is where Willow Stream Spa is. And this is where the main lobby is down here. So we're gonna head down this hallway, which leads to the elevators, the Bamp Springs shops, and the gatehouse. Check out these like accents. So we got cool wall sconces that remind you of like a castle feeling. And then look at this. Even these little like features on the wall here. These metal features make it look medieval. So here's the elevators that would take you up to your room right here. So here's the sister store to the one that was closed just down the hall by Willow Stream Spa. This is the Canadian Pacific store. And they got all kinds of different luggages and handbags and attire. They've got uh, different Fairmont tumblers and uh, water bottles. All kinds of fun stuff in here. So just down the hall from the Canadian Pacific store we have again another store here. This is what it's called. And they have all kinds of different apparel and fashion stuff for men and women in here. So carrying on down here we have the Quest which has all kinds of different statues and decorations glassware, stone, sculptures, paintings. And then carrying on from the quest, we have Snowflake, which is more of an outer an outerwear store. It looks like all kinds of like hats and jackets, scarves, some handbags. And moving along down the hallways here through all the shops, we have another one here called Wild About Nature. They have nice uh, window displays that kind of show you some of the stuff that's in the store. So they got coasters and pins bracelets. Actually, I think Mona got a bracelet just similar to that one. And then carrying along down the hall, we have Chateau Mountain Sports. You can see all kinds of different. This would be sort of similar to Snowflake, but I would say more active wear. They have Arcteryx equipment, backpacks and camping and raincoats, sweaters and hats and shoes. A couple more stores here. We have Avenue Road, which is another fashion store. Lots of nice stuff in there. It looks like a women's fashion store. Then we have the art room, which have lots of nice paintings. And there's a lady painting right now. So through this door was the mountain galleries and the shops. And if you turn over this way, which again, cool archways reminiscent of Hogwarts and castles. If you turn over this way, this is the gatehouse right here. So it connects over from the mezzanine as well. And there's a Castello restaurant right there. Okay, so we're back in the lobby now. So this is where the front desk is. Um, this is where the concierge is and stock food and drink. And we're gonna head up these stairs here to mezzanine level number one and mezzanine number two. So let's go upstairs. Cool. So here we are on mezzanine level number one. There's all kinds of little hallways and things to kind of look at and explore, like little seating areas and tables and pictures on the wall. If we look over to the left, this is where 1888 Chop House is. They have all kinds of nice food here. I'll put the menu up on the screen for you so you can see it. So just beside 1988 Chop House here is a uh, mezzanine looking out over the uh, main walkway where we saw before. There's some awesome swords on the wall too just to add to the effect that this is sort of like a medieval castle. So cool. There's another one. There's four on the wall here. And then this gorgeous chandelier. Again, it looks like it would be hanging in the hall of some medieval castle. Okay, so I'm just across the mezzanine here and we have 1988 chop house over here. Looking over this way, we have uh, just a view down over the main lobby. And uh, other staircase, this would lead down the staircase to the main lobby where the front desk is to check in. And here we are here in Heritage Hall. And if you wanted to learn a bit more about the history of the Banff Springs in this area, then check out all the pictures on the wall. Mona and I spent about 20 minutes. Take a look at all the pictures and read all the different captions. There's all kinds of really, really cool things just to find out and learn about the hotel. It's definitely worth the walk around in Heritage Hall. And then if we head down the hall here now, just to the left of Chop House, we have the Vermilion Room. And Vermilion Room is open for breakfast dinner, cocktails, and it has a patio too. So that's the stuff that we saw earlier outside. And then over this way to the right, we have Rundle Bar. And then inside here, there's a really, really nice looking bar there. And a ladder going up to grab some of the more top shelf liquors. There's a second floor up here as well, where you can have some drinks. And then Lookout Patio, which we saw earlier. Beautiful place to eat. We'll put that menu up on the screen and the hours for Mondel Bar as well. So if you turn around over this way, 
you notice anything strange about this bookcase over here? There's lights, 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 all these lights up here. But look at this one, no lights, eh? So Mona's gonna try to show you the secret. It's actually a hidden door, and the hidden door leads back into a private area. And this private area has got some seating and tables and a little lounge back there to sit at. Okay, so right behind us is Brundell Bar and the Vermilion Room. So straight ahead here is gonna lead to the guest elevators to get to your rooms. It looks like there's a VIP concierge in here. And then here, resort activities. So you can book some excursions and get out and do some adventuring in, uh, in Banff. And then over here is a really cool room. This is Mount Stephen Hall. This is cool. Let's see if we can get Mona's reaction. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is an impressive ballroom. Take a look at this. Probably a really cool place I reckon you could get married in and have your reception in this space here. And then there's a full suit of armor here for a knight to wear. That's cool. And up on the wall they have like shields and more armor. It looks like they have like almost like two thrones at the other side of the room too. Amazing chandeliers. This is a cool room. Over on this side they have all kinds of artwork and these like big windows that make it look like a castle again. Oh, and they're just mirrors. Looks like they lead out somewhere, but no, they're just mirrors. Hello. All right, so there's the impressive Mount Stephen Hall there. And just swinging over this way, again, we're in this corridor that makes you feel like you're in a castle. There's the oak room right here, which is locked, you can't get in. And then if you walk over this way, this would be a bridge over to the Gatehouse Conference Center, and then the Castello Italiano restaurant and Ramsey Bar. So let's head over there now. So we can look outside at some impressive scenery. Over to the left, you can see a terrace to kind of come up here and check in for VIP guest check-in there. And then over this way, we have the roundabout where you can come up, circle around. This is the conference center here. And then this is the gatehouse over here. Okay, so behind me is the, is the walkway that we just passed over. And this is the check-in here for Castello Italiana. So it's not open right now. I think it's temporarily closed due to COVID. And then just behind me is the Castello Italiana. And walking through here is the actual gatehouse. So this here to the right, it's called Ramsey Bar. Doesn't look like it's open right now either, but really, really classy looking. And then in here is the lobby area or sitting area for the gatehouse. I'm just showing you another view from here in this sitting room here in the gatehouse. And then they have some guest rooms over this way. This is a little area here where you could play some pool. I think right now this is temporarily closed though. They're not having this in operation just right now. And then these stairs right here lead right back up to Ramsey Bar. So just before we head back, if you follow Cornelius Van Horn's instructions, you follow the Van Horn walkway, this will take you down this pathway here. And this will take you through some more, through to some more guest rooms and all the way through to the conference center, if you follow this pathway. Okay, so we just came from this way here. We were just in the gatehouse. And then back behind us was Mount Stephen Hall. So this little staircase right here is gonna take us up to mezzanine number three. Wow, that's so cool. Look at these lanterns, our sconces on the wall. Here we are up on mezzanine number three here. All right, so here we are in the medieval mezzanine number three. And if you keep walking along here, just over these balconies here, these railings, this just leads down into Mount Stephen Hall, so the view from above. But this is a cool spot, like, look, are we not in the castle? And then right here, they have a wine cellar where they keep some of their wines. So it's called Grapes Charcuterie Bar and Cellar. So you can have a look in there. It's just a small little place where you can have a little bite to eat and have some wine and have a nice little view out over the mountains. So it says up on the sign here that Grapes is available for private dining as well, in different groups. And here's the menu for grapes. So again, here's grapes on the left side. Here's Mount Stephen Hall. Here's the elevators that takes you up to your, to your room. And uh, I think I may have spoke before saying we're mezzanine three. This is actually mezzanine number two. 
So there's mezzanine number one and mezzanine number two, which we're on right now. And then carrying along through here, into the right side here, we have Rundle Bar. This is the top balcony or the second level to Rundle Bar. And over this way now, we have really, we have another really impressive ballroom. Oh, this looks like a sort of reception area. And it's used to kind of filter guests through to these different ballrooms or meeting rooms. So I just looked on a map. The room we're in right now is called the Riverview Lounge. And that's the room that kind of borders off these rooms here. The Alberta room and then a New Brunswick room just over here. Okay, so moving along here on this mezzanine level two, we have the oval room, which we're just kind of coming into right now. You have gorgeous views out over this terrace here where we were earlier. And the terrace is up here where we were standing before just off the uh, Willow Stream Spa. And you have excellent, excellent views out over the mountains here as well. All right, so just outside the oval room behind us, we have the conservatory and the Cascade Ballroom. So here, is, if it was open, these doors would be slid open and the conservatory is right here. So let's see if we can get in. So this really opens up nicely. So this would be a really cool spot for guests to hang out. Get an amazing view out over the courtyard here, over the mountains as well. So yeah, if it's raining, then it's and this is a nice spot to have guests hang out. Look up over the stars as well up here. Lots of space. Panoramic views of the mountains. And then just in here would be the Cascade Ballroom. And this is a really cool room. This is so elegant and classy with all the different artwork on the walls and the ceilings beautiful chandeliers we just passed by a couple here who said that they were coming here for a wedding tomorrow so it looks like they're going to be setting up some tables to do a small gathering and have a reception for a wedding all right so just outside here we're back in the oval room here and this is the uh, lakeview lounge and then heading down the stairs here so here is a picture on the wall mona found this is the Fairmont Banff Springs Ghost Bride. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so we just finished reading the story of the Fairmont Banff Springs Ghost Bride. So, the story goes that the, the girl brushed up against the candle, her dress lit on fire, and she fell down the stairs all the way down. It said that that death actually caused her to haunt the staircase here and the Cascade Ballroom upstairs that we were just visiting. So staff and guests of the hotel here have also told the story that they actually saw a ghostly figure in a white dress in the staircase and in the ballroom. A little bit scary. Do you guys see a ghost in the picture? So that's going to do it for our hotel tour here at the castle in the mountains, the Fairmont. Banff Springs. Like I said before, there was so, so many tourists and so many people who were just day guests to the hotel. Um, we were here actually for the spa. We had massages. The spa is absolutely phenomenal. The massages were so awesome. So I would definitely recommend coming to the Fairmont Banff Springs, especially if you have something to celebrate, an anniversary, a milestone birthday, or just want to check out Banff and really want to set yourself up and pamper yourself for the weekend. So if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to find out where we're we going next.